So that's called Kazakhstan, and it was, of course, composed on two separate days and combined on the third day to create the song. So that's one creative process. The other one is using um, a shaker. Just a little shaker. Now, I realize when I play harmonica, my, my foot tends to thump a lot. I move my foot to keep rhythm, right? So I figured, hey, let's add something to my big toe and see what happens. I keep that rhythm going. So uh, I got this little shaker and it's attached to, uh, it'll be attaching itself to my toe. And uh, then I'll be playing a, a song called Extravaganza, which is uh, a crazy song, if I may say so myself. <laughs> And again, this is also composed in three different parts. Left or right? Left foot is probably better. Make sure it fits nice and slug, snugly on that big toe. And uh, Extravaganza, again, is uh, a song that kind of just wrote itself. Um, on three separate occasions, I was messing around with some uh, um, basic rhythm concepts, and the song kind of just took care of itself. And half the time, I don't really know what I'm doing in the song, which is nice, because every time I play it, something else comes out of the song. And that's part of what I call that creative process. Uh, the wonderful part of being a, a solo harmonica player is that you can do whatever you want to make the music come alive. So this is an example of spaceships meeting all kinds of rhythms. Is that about right, Brett? <laughs> Something like that? Brett's, I've known Brett for many years, and uh, Brett is one of the great supporters of music, local music, singer-songwriters, uh, super great guy, great musician, and it's because of people like Brett that we have a chance to get out and play and try some new stuff, so this one goes out to Master Brett. I can see the spaceships. Okay, he can see the spaceships, that's good. We'll see if you guys see spaceships too at the end of the song. This one's called Extravaganza. Thank <laughs> you. 
So there's that little shaker. Did you get that? <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Again, it's just having a lot of fun with an instrument and um, seeing what you can get out of it. That's kind of the joy of the harmonica. It's, it's just this tiny little instrument. You can carry it around in your pocket and play it anywhere. I remember one evening I was working on a, a Bach piece, Johann Sebastian Bach. You know, da -da 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 that song. And I was in Capilani Park. I like to hang out there kind of early evening-ish sometime. And I was just practicing. Some guy was walking his dog. He came up and was like, he just stopped. He's like, wow, is that Bach? You're playing Bach? <laughs> I'm practicing. It doesn't sound anything like Bach. But it's like, wow. So we just carried on. We had a nice conversation. And people are appreciative of music. And you can practice pretty much anywhere. That's what's so nice about it. So again, thank you very much for coming. If you have any questions, I'm going to hang around for a while. And um, I've got some materials if you guys are interested in looking at what else is out there if you want to pursue this wonderful instrument. Thank you very much. Begin. Right. Thank you. Guys. Thank you.